Hey guys, Eddie Mancuso here with your February update for our Atlas Server Community Build on Minecraft's Xbox One platform. Appreciate you guys being here. Some equipment upgrades. We've got a lot of new cool stuff to show you in this update. This is uh, the stable that we've built. Don't have any horses right now. We uh, been busy on other projects since the uh, last update came out. So I think Darhish uh, did a wonderful job on it. Looks great. It's, uh, it's awesome, especially the open roof, and he just does a great job, man, designing designing these builds. Just can't uh, can't get enough of him. But I got a lot of cool stuff to show you guys, so I'm gonna get right to it. Ongoing build. So you're looking at the first phase of the Mines of Moria project. There's our beacon over there. And it's coming together quite nicely. Again, been uh, designed this walkway. It's a great job. And the tower, of course. So, this is our item sorting center. They come down a hopper pipeline that's, that I'll show you in a little bit. And as they come down, they sort out to the chest. Pretty cool. That was done by X-Man and then uh, Thor Scorpion. I'm sure they had other help, but those were the main designers. Here's Thor Scorpion's Mega Smelter. So, the item you want smelted goes here. Your fuel goes in here. We're using... Um, Laser rods, yeah, laser rods. And this is the output chest. <coughs> Excuse me. So okay. it, and this is our new nether storage room, which <laughs> this is nether 3.0 for us. This is our third reset of the nether. We were trying, we had some problems with blazes spawning and uh, I had read some articles and tried to fix the problem by resetting the nether, but I'm not sure if that's worked yet. We haven't had it back on hard yet. We're still on peaceful as we continue to build in the nether. Is this wonderful nether uh, castle, which Aaron Ness has been working on. He's the architect designed this it's looking awesome dude I mean there's just I know I overuse awesome sometimes but there's, I just can't think of a, a better word to describe it it looks freaking awesome maybe two-thirds of the way done maybe half to two-thirds somewhere in there there's a nice lava pit going on uh, Aaron's done a great job on this Love the lava effects there, Aaron. We're still in the process of reworking the interior of Atlas, as you can see here, but uh, Ben's did an epic job. It's just epic at uh, making this look incredible. I can't wait to see it completely done, what, you know, what he's got in store for us. Awesome engineer, man. I think he's one of the best in Minecraft. Definitely one of the best on Xbox One. There's Ben's statue, like some kind of gladiator or warrior. I'll show you another statue he did on this uh -huh. world. Wow, X-Man really did a lot of work here last night. This is uh, brand new. He just built this yesterday. And this is an automatic potion dispenser. 
So, you select potion by flipping lever up and lever add-ons. So, let's just say we want a potion of strength. And as you can see, it's a Bruin. Here's our Aqua Potion. We're going to add some Blaze Powder, and that should give us the Potion of Strength. There they are. Besides being aesthetically pleasing, it is uh, also very functional. As you can see, there's our villagers and the doors to get the villagers to spawn and uh, overall to get the iron golems to, to spawn. As you can see, it's working pretty good. Okay, so basically, uh, you've seen the villagers, they're in that little room I'm looking at, and they are, and there is water, this is eight blocks from the outside in, there's water running, the golem will spawn, the water will push him to the center, you can see right through there to the ceiling, or to the sky, I'm sorry, and then he will fall down here, and he is so high that his head will be in the lava, the lava will kill him and then his rose and the iron will fall into the hoppas. It's actually 